I'm Anshul, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore, India. Sometimes customers ask me how they can publish their RDS MySQL or Aurora MySQL logs to Amazon CloudWatch. CloudWatch is a service that helps you manage and view all your logs from a single platform. So today, I'll be showing you how to ship your MySQL logs to CloudWatch. Let's get started. After logging in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the RDS Console. For this example, I'll show you how to enable the slow query log on your RDS MySQL instance and then export it to CloudWatch. To enable the slow query log, I'll first create a custom parameter group. Now, enable the slow query log by editing the custom parameter group. And then setting the value of the slow query log to 1. The important thing to remember here is that to enable publishing logs to CloudWatch, you must set the value of the log output parameter to file. By default, the value of this parameter is table for RDS MySQL versions 5.6, 5.7 and 8 instances as well as for Aurora MySQL 5.6 compatible clusters. The default for Aurora MySQL 5.7 compatible clusters is file. This means that this step is not required if your Aurora cluster is MySQL 5.7 compatible. Choose save. Now I'll modify the instance to change the parameter group and also to enable log exports for this instance. For now, let's just check slow query logs. Remember that selecting apply immediately results in downtime. Because I've changed the parameter group for the instance, I must reboot the instance to bring the changes into effect. Ok, so now my instance has the slow query log enabled and is configured to publish them to CloudWatch. Let's give it a try. I will now connect to my instance. Because I have not changed the value of the long query time parameter in my custom parameter group, my instance will take the engine default value of 10 seconds. So any query executing for more than 10 seconds is logged in the slow query log. Let's go back to the RDS console. We can see that the log has been generated. Now let's head over to CloudWatch. There it is. Similarly, you can publish other logs such as the general log, the error log or the audit logs to CloudWatch by checking the suitable checkboxes in the log exports section. In Aurora clusters, if you have advanced auditing enabled, you can also enable CloudWatch log exports by setting the server audit logs upload cluster parameter to 1 in the custom cluster parameter group. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.